We've been speaking this morning with Republican presidential candidate Governor Chris Christie and joining us now, the First Lady of New Jersey, Mary Pat Christie. How are you doing? Great. Doing well. You've taken up residency in New Hampshire. Close to it, I think. How many days, how many days have you been here? I think it's been 40 plus, 43 or 44. It's wow. a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. Four mm -hmm. kids, right? Yes. Trying to navigate all of this sure. in the public eye. How are you holding up? I'm what doing, are your reflections? I, I'm really doing great. I mean, I left my full-time job back in April, so this is really no different than what I've been used to. Um, and the balance with the kids is working. It really is. We, you know, two are kind of half-baked or mostly baked in college, and uh, the two at home are really adjusting to all of this. By the well. way, we can tell how young and naive you are. <laughs> They're not. Mike right. Monica will tell you, they're not even half baked. baked. At okay. Like 20, <laughs> at 27. I know. I was, just with I was just trying to get a name it, from Mike for a job for my daughter. <laughs> what, what, worst mistake go. I ever made was when uh, my oldest graduated from high school. I said I can check him off the list. No, <laughs> no. no. It's so big kids, big problems. problems. It continues the to go. Grows. The list grows. So, so Mary Pat, what is um, there? There's anxiety before everybody takes their family to a presidential campaign. You had the same anxiety, I'm sure. Better or worse than you expected? Yep, better, definitely better. Not as tough, not as personal, not as, uh, no. as grinding as you expect. Well, you know, because we've had such great training because Chris has been in the public eye since, you know, I mean, totally uh, for 13 years now. So um, when he was U.S. attorney and then governor, so it's made it a lot easier transition, I think, for us. And and our kids are really, they do as much or as little as they want to. We don't make them do anything. And they stay off of uh, Google and, uh, like, the Internet. They well, the, the, well internet. The, two, the two older definitely don't stay off of it, but the two younger ones we can still shield somewhat. They're yeah. in seventh grade and ninth grade, so yeah. they have a lot of other things going on in their lives. So how has this changed you? How, how do you see this as changing your husband in any way? I don't know. Profound ways. I, I mean, I don't think it's changed us, honestly. Um, it's kind of something that we're honored to be doing, and, um, and we really are a team. Uh, I actually enjoy being able to spend so much time with Chris, uh, that's that's a big change um, because, you know, normally I was leaving my house at, you know, 6 o'clock in the morning and not getting home till 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock at night, so we're spending a lot of time together. It's been nice. Well, go ahead. And she's still really? with me, by the way. And that's what I was right. about to say. I didn't the, want to the, add. The biggest shock of the campaign so far, <laughs> actually. Been, she's spending more time with me and she's, like, still here, so that's well, really good. Aww. You talked about the governor being in the public eye for a long time, being in a very tough media market. How do you handle that as the spouse of, of the governor. It's a spouse of a candidate. When you open the, the truth, newspaper yeah. and you look at the New York Times every day, whether it's through the George Washington Bridge story or anything else, right. I know you say you can shield your kids oh. a little bit, but you don't really shield sure. yourself. How do you react That was to some ugly spouse? stuff. Well, well, well that's the, the first mistake is I don't open the New York Times Okay, that's a good place to start. I do read, I do read other papers, but, um, I, but you really do start to ignore it. Um, I get clips every day and I just zip through them. And really, if they're negative, I, I don't read them. Um, I read headlines, so I am aware. Uh, not ignorant to what's going on, but um, I think Chris is the best example to all of us. He really um, has managed to handle it pretty well. Um, you know, and we know the truth. We know how how good a person he was, and certainly through the bridge stuff, it was a challenge. But um, you know, we got through it, and actually, in some ways, brought us closer together as a family because we knew we had each other to depend on, and and we always knew the truth, and we always were confident that that would come out in the end, and it did. But it has it happened to you? I mean, even in, in 13 years in the public eye, U.S. attorney, governor, running for president is a very short span of time when you measure it against history and everything. And the assault on public people and their families is so omnipresent <laughs> on the radio, online, in the newspapers, at the grocery store as you're checking out through the checkout line. Has it ever gotten to you? I mean, has it ever gotten to the point where you say, uh, were, you, were you said to someone at the grocery store or something, hey, you don't know what you're talking about? Things like that. I mean, it's so <laughs> Any vicious, confrontation, so personal. Yeah. Mary Pat. Well, well, I certainly engage with people, but you have to remember that for most of those 13 years, I mean, Chris's popularity was off the charts. So it was never, it was only a, a very small segment of that time where we were actually dealing with a lot of negative um, press. So. Overall, the 13 year spans, it's been really overly positive. So, um, and sure, I push back. I try to so, try to take people through all the details of arguments and what they don't know and what's right, but sometimes we it's get, a lot of I've just got to ask you, you know, Meek and I have said repeatedly that the bridge uh, episode <clears throat> and that battle has made Chris 
the best politician he's ever been. He's better at his game than ever before. How did it change you? Um, <clears throat> made me more cautious, for sure, um, and just continued my, my thought process about how um, little some people know. But, you know, made us, you know, we, we always joke, joke about we'd rather be weaker than stronger and not having gotten through that. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's, it's just part of life, right? Yeah. It's part of life's journey. Yeah. All right, Mary Pat Christie, secret weapon. Thank you very much. <laughs> not so Thanks, secret guys. anymore. No. Not so secret. Not Wonderful. New Hampshire, for sure. To have you on. Thanks, guys. Uh, and Chris, thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for coming to New Hampshire. Governor. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.